Christine Brady, uh, and we can do that sometimes as judges, uh, because uh, again, this was a vehicle that, as the design team, we're kind of finishing up and doing our final rounds. You know, in the process as we break up in teams, there's so many cars to do, and then we'll uh, pull together and kind of tabulate, debate, and argue, and all that kind of stuff, and then we'll all go to group and kind of see the ones that we all picked. <laughs> And in route to go find some of the cars that we'd already seen, we, this one just, we stumbled on this car and it was kind of tucked in in an interesting little booth there. And we all just stopped dead in our tracks and started studying this thing. And, and uh, it was interesting uh, from the standpoint of its execution design and, and just the, the uniqueness. And so we uh, kind of uh, right in a, in a, uh, a new category for this is uh, just a, a most creative, designed uh, GM product, um, or car, as you call it. And uh, this, this one's going to a guy that we all know over TV, but he actually has a, an alter ego that he actually does awesome stuff in his shop, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's Brian Fuller, um, Fuller Hot Rods. Uh, if you check out this, uh, awesome work, metal smithing, and uh, you know, Brian's a true artist, so it's, uh, it's fun to see it. I just want to say a little, a couple of words. Just want to thank the owner, Steve Shivington, in the back for uh, working with us for two and a half, three years, getting this thing done. And <clears throat> obviously, the full team: Jerry Price, the upholster, and all my guys on the crew. Same deal with, uh, sorry, I missed your name over there. That talked about, you know, 24/7, you know, two weeks of just no sleep, and you know, literally like the last day. Of, oh, can we just get it in the trailer? I mean, it literally took like, I think it took three cups of coffee just to get the thing into the trailer. You know what I mean? We were like, okay, all right, I think we can do it. Everybody ready? And then somebody actually showed up. We had sent two guys home. <clears throat> we sent two guys home, Ben and uh, Brian. We had sent them home to sleep because they were going to be the ones driving it from Atlanta all the way over to here. So one of them showed up, little Brian showed up, and, uh, he was like, hey guys, what's going on? And we're like, oh man, thank God you're here. And so uh, I'm like, man, can you just, can you direct us in, dude? And he goes, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, make sure it gets in the trailer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, okay. I'm like, we're all dead. You know, like you're zombies.